begin, you're going to want to prime those eyes as per usual. I'm taking my go-to primer, which is the Max Painterly Paint Pot. So applying this all over the lid using a synthetic brush, and then I'm going to set that into place using a skin-coloured powder, or just a very light matte powder. This particular one is from the Too Faced Chocolate Bar palette. Then I'm going into the crease of my eye with a fluffy brush using what salted caramel I want to say into the crease of my eye and then deeping it up with a darker brown just focusing this on the outer corner of the eye as opposed to all over the crease area if that makes any sense then I just popped a champagne shade into the lid of my eye because it's a very very basic eye look and this could be used for every day and just take away the purple and the purple lips if you really wanted to super quick and easy just give that a quick blend together and then I went ahead and applied some liner just because I wanted to add some definition back into the eyes because the eyeshadow is so simple. Um, I'm using the NYX Curve Liner for this and I'm just going ahead and applying a tiny little kitten wing to the eye. Then I highlighted my brow bone using the shimmery highlight shade from the Too Faced Chocolate Bar palette and then under my lower lash line I dusted a bit of that salted caramel shade and I had a little bit of hay fever that day so my eyes were a bit kind of red and itchy so probably wouldn't suggest putting loads of makeup on them if you have red and itchy eyes but I only realised how red and itchy they were half through the video. <laughs> um, and then you want to go apply an your purple shade in the inner corner of your eye you can apply a blue shade a pink shade whatever color you wanted to i just opted for purple as it's my favorite eyeshadow color in the entire world just apply this to the inner corner of your eye and then i went ahead and just applied my concealer to clean up all of the little fallout areas and just to brighten up my face i applied it in triangular shape underneath my eyes down the centre of my nose, a little bit on my cupid's bow as well, and blend this into the skin using the foundation brush I used previously, which was the Real Techniques buffing brush. Then I added a tiny little bit of contouring, mainly just for warmth to my face really. This is just one of those NARS multiple sticks, just drew some lines under my cheekbones, on the tops of my forehead, and I also put a tiny little bit under my lip, but unfortunately the camera was too zoomed in, and I didn't realise until afterwards, which was slightly annoying, but a tiny little bit of that under my lip, just to make it look a little bit Bit filler. Then I went ahead and curled my lashes ready for mascara and I applied the Benefit Roller Lash Mascara which I really am enjoying at the moment but I just can't get away from the falsies. I love the falsies no matter what kind of makeup look it is. So I applied a generous amount of the Roller Lash Mascara by Benefit to the top and bottom eyelashes to give some definition and fluttery goodness to my eyes. Then once the mascara is all done, I went ahead and applied some falsies. Um, this clip's going on a very long time. There's lots of mascara being applied. Oh, we're going to bronzer. Okay, here we go. Um, for some reason this video seems to do everything in a very strange order. Usually I would go straight on to falsies, but to be honest it doesn't really matter what order you get it done with, as long as you get it done basically. <laughs> so I'm just bronzing up my face using the NYX Matte Bronzer and this is the shade Medium. I'm using it on a Sigma Tapered Face Brush F50, F20, no, F25. It's my favourite brush of all time. It's just so amazing. I did go a complete OTT with the blush, I won't lie to you, um, but then afterwards I took my bronzer brush just to kind of dull it down a little bit. This is a NARS Peer Hardy blush. I believe it was limited edition by Picked Up at iMats um, last year. I will link that below if I remember rightly. And all the products will be listed on my blog as per usual. So don't fret, I will find something alternative if you can't see this for yourself. Then for the inner rims of the eye, I just applied a tiny little bit of a subtle purple eyeliner. This is NYX Purple Blaze. Then we're on to the lashes. Finally, these are Ardell Demi Wispies. They're just my go-to lashes. I order them in bulk. Since I run out, I order a new pack off Amazon. They're so good value for money and they just go with every single eye makeup look, I swear to God. For highlight, I didn't actually go with MAC Soft and Gentle for once. I went with a eyeshadow which will be listed on my blog. Now for the feature of this video um, is the Kiss Cosmetics colour swap lipstick amazingness. It's a new launch they just released and they kindly sent me out a sample to try out and I was very intrigued by it. Basically it's just a white lipstick but when you apply any kind of colour on top of it and then blend it in it creates this really kind of cool different effect so whatever your lipstick you have you can turn it into a lighter more vibrant one just with using this white lipstick and I think it's one of those things that's perfect for beginners because you can just build up your makeup collection as you go along and with this it doubles your shades instantly it's amazing 
So what I did is I applied the white lipstick all over my lips and applied the darker lipstick on the outer corners and it created this really cool ombre look and I really wanted to create an ombre lip. I have never done an ombre lip, I don't think, ever on my channel and I really, really loved the way it turned out. So that was the end of the look guys, I really hope you enjoyed watching this tutorial, please don't forget to give it a like and leave any comments below if you've got any questions or things like that and subscribe. <laughs> I will see you in my next video, thank you so much for watching, bye.